Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a little bit of a video for us. Well, of course, remember our unboxing video of our floating wall shelf. Of course, this one is the walnut color. Well, now comes the time to, well, mount it up on the wall. Of course, we have ourselves a mount bracket, which is basically a piece of metal with two uh, round dowels to it that you bolt onto the wall, and then the shelf pretty much just slides on those dowels, and away she goes. So, of course, up here on the wall, I measured over, and I found the center point, which is right there, of both the wall and the bracket of where I'm on her, the shelf situated. I measured over and found the other two uh, holes, the far, what I'm going to call left-hand holes. And of course over here we have the far right-hand holes. So of course out of all five of those holes, one of them was bound to hit a uh, structure of some kind, so I should be okay. But uh, failing that, I do have these hollow wall anchors that I can drive on in. They'll mushroom on out and then they'll be good to go. So pretty much guys, got to gear me up my drill with my drill bit. Drill, uh, well, five pilot holes, see if they come up dry or not. If they don't, then we're good. If they do, then we got to put the anchors in the wall. So pretty much I'm going to get all prepped here, get the holes drilled, and then check back in. Okay guys, so here we go. I uh, got all five holes drilled into the wall there. Of course, uh, all five did come up dry. I was hoping at least one of them would get a, you know, hit a 2x4 or something solid, but uh, came up bad there. Of course, if I wasn't trying to get this thing centered with the wall and over top of the TV, then I could put it virtually anywhere, and if it was off-center, then at least it would be into structure, right? But of course, uh, right now we have just some holes in the wall that could half easily be filled. However, once we put the hollow wall anchors in there, if uh, they are in the wrong spot, we're going to have a huge heap of trouble. So what I would recommend doing is taking your well bracket here that you patterned the uh, holes from, holding it on up to the wall and making sure the holes are still well where they're supposed to be. And if you're good to go, well, putting the uh, anchors in the wall and tightening it on down. Okay, guys, so well, all five of the hollow wall anchors all in here, of course. Now, of course, I've pre-tightened them down to the point where they've already started to uh, what, I like, 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 what I like to call mushroom on out. Pretty much what it is is I've tightened them on down to the point where, as you see here, uh, they're no longer uh, fully extended. They've actually started to collapse, which allows you to get your wall screw through the work or whatever you're trying to mount as well as clear the half inch of the drywall and start to, well, touch the threads of the backing piece that basically um, makes it to mushroom. So pretty much, guys, I'm going to get this bracket on up here, tighten the first couple, see how they line up, and then we'll check back in and we'll tighten the last couple ourselves. So, of course, got the uh, first three all tightened on down. They didn't jump out of the wall, so that's a good sign. So of course, time to, well, tighten down the remaining two. Now, of course, if you do use a drill like I did, make sure it's on a lower torque setting or else you could run the risk of, well, overdriving the screw and snapping the anchor, which really ruins your day. Yes, I know I was using a drywall dimpler to run them on through instead of an actual Phillips bit, but at the same time, I don't have one on me and I don't want to drive them in fully by hand. So of course, once you got those all in, take your little Phillips screwdriver here, give them a final torque. Again, don't over tighten them, but don't leave them too loose. Make sure she's good and up there, and then now it's time for mounting the shelf. Well guys, there we go. We got the uh, shelf all pretty much installed. La, look, you could tell. Of course, with this shelf here, it wasn't that bad of a job. You know, there was some measuring, some figuring, some wall anchors, and uh, pretty much just drive them on in, tighten them on down, and away she goes. Of course, uh, after you've got the shelf on the wall, there is a safety screw there, and another safety screw uh, here, if this camera will pick it up. 
you pretty much got to drive those through the board into a hole in the bottom of the bracket or the dowels and that kind of holds it on down from sliding on off the ball if uh, ever if ever anything gets pulled off of it of course these are a semi light duty shelf more meant for ornaments nicky knackies and light things like that you wouldn't want to be piling very many books on here or toolbox or anything heavy because it might come crashing on down especially if it's not anchored very well but pretty much guys that's been a uh, well installation of a perfect home 48 inch walnut colored wall shelf and as always thanks for watching maxwell's world comment subscribe and enjoy